Hi guys, it's getting to that time of year again when I know many of you are going to start to think about Christmas and getting gifts together for your family members and loved ones. In front of me I've got a selection of different things with great things for Christmas for that angler in your life and I'm just going to run through them. Now, if any of these aren't ideal for the fishermen in your life, then don't hesitate going onto our website and having a look at our Christmas selection pages. We've put loads of different products together and we've banded them in various different price points so there's something to fit every single budget. So I'm sure many of you out there have got a fisherman in your life and a freezer full of trout. Well you might be getting sick of trout but something to make it a little bit more palatable and give you a bit of variety. This is the Abu Hot Smoker. Now it's a great piece of kit and it means that not only at the same time are you imparting smoky flavour into the trout or whatever fish you'd like to use, particularly good with mackerel, but you're cooking the fish at the same time. Now it's a very simple system, it's just a metal box really and inside of that is a grid and you lay those fish on the grid whether you want them whole or you take the fillets off the side. In the bottom of it you'll place your smoker dust or your wood chips and then below there's two small burners which you can fill with methylated spirits. Now they just warm up those chips, get those smoking at the same time as heating up the metal container and cooking that trout. Now you can eat it straight away hot, straight out of the cooker or you can let it cool down um, debone it, mix it all up, turn it into pate with some clarified butter, maybe some finely chopped shallots. So it's a really good way of using up trout that you've got in the freezer and doing something a little different with it. So I'm a big fan of a hot smoker and it makes a great Christmas present. Now something that I always carry around in my car, I have done for as long as I can remember, is a first aid kit. I know a lot of cars do come with a small first aid kit, but if they don't, it's a really good idea to get something like this. This is the Life Ventures Pocket First Aid Kit. Now the lovely thing about this, comes in this nice little, nice little case which is great to put into your fishing bag or just keep in the car. Or if you want to keep it on your person, on the back they've got a little loop here that you can attach onto your wader belt or onto your trouser belt. And it's so small it does easily fit into a bag without taking up too much space. Comes with loads of useful things inside of here, so there's things like scissors, um, there's bandages, plasters, antiseptic wipes. So if you do happen to have a mishap when you're out and about on the riverbank, then hopefully this little thing is going to be having enough stuff inside of it to make your life a bit easier and stop the problems that you've got when you're out there at the time before you get a chance to go home and probably look after it. So it's a really useful little thing to keep in your bag and I think every angler should really carry around some kind of a first aid kit. Now there's lots of different sets of snips and zingers and gadgets and gizmos out there, but one that I'm a really big fan of is the latest release here from Loon. So this is what they call their essentials kit. It comes with a really heavy duty zinger, set of their non-slip easy grip snips, and also the same for their the non-slip easy grip on their forceps. So the nice thing about this, you can use the forceps for either debarbing your flies or removing the fly from a fish if you're fishing catch and release, for instance. Nice sharp set of snips and a really good heavy duty zinger. So it's a really good all-in-one kit, um, perfect stocking filler for the angler in your life. More stocking fillers. And something that you can get used to, if you're particularly an angler that likes to keep fish, then this is Gardner's Trout Peg. Now this has been around for a very long time. I had one as probably 20, 25 years ago, I had one myself. And the lovely thing about this, it was originally designed in uh, uh, association with Peter Cockwell, uh, who's a very well-known stillwater angler, one of the best small stillwater anglers there is. Uh, I'm sure you've all seen his articles and stuff before. Um, brilliant little thing, which is an alternative to a bass bag. So the nice thing about this is you've got these four little loops on this um, and those loops just simply by depressing part of the yellow there you can slide that little green sleeve up and it releases this part of the loop. This bit you then pop through the mouth of the trout and out of the gills, locate it back into that little housing, slide the green collar back up again and that's locked in place. Now it comes with four on here but you can buy extras in packets of two so if you're a very optimistic angler and you want six or eight you can add more to it and they're all just attached to this piece of string here which you can pop off, unwind, you then stick that into the bank and then you can lay your fish into the water to keep them nice and fresh. So it's just a little bit of an alternative to a bass bag and when you move spots or you finish your day's fishing it's got a nice little handle here that you can just pick those fish up and go back to the car before popping them into a, a big carrier bag. So a great item there, that's the Gardner Trout Peg. If you're looking for something a little bit more special but still something small, um, then these are the Sims Pro Nippers. They come in two different colours, you've got the blue one and you've got this sort of burnt orange one and these are a really beautiful pair of snips. They're fully machined aluminium so they're really hard wearing and they've been anodized in these lovely colours. Very very sharp cutting blades on them 
um, and you can see that they're actually sprung loaded so they always open for you which is a really nice little feature. On the side they've got a pin there for clearing the eye on your fly if there's a bit of varnish in there and also there's a little trench down the middle here with a magnet and it's got a ma magnetic fly threader so it's a, a three in one set of snips a really useful gadget also a loop on the back here if you want to attach it to a zinger or to a lanyard and keep it round your neck and I think that's a really lovely gift that I'd be very happy to get for Christmas that's the Sims Pro Nippers. Um, now, anglers, we're terrible for not uh, particularly drinking enough when we're out and about on a day's fishing. I know I am. I can get preoccupied with fishing and forget to drink something. But I always carry around now my Yeti mug. Now, if I want to carry something hot, I use this style sort of mug. It's absolutely brilliant. It keeps my drinks hot for hours on end. But in the summer in particular, I know I'm terrible for it. I don't drink enough fluids. So there's a couple of different size flasks here and there's a lot more in the range. The beauty of these, they'll keep your stuff really hot during the, during the winter when you're drinking hot drinks like teas and coffees. But in the summer, you can pop a few ice cubes into here and they're great for keeping your drinks cold as well. And they'll keep them cold all day long. So there's various different sizes depending on how long a day you're going out for. If there's more than one of you out fishing for the day, you can get bigger ones still up to quite a significant size that would even last you a couple of days if you were overnighting or camping somewhere. So there's a great thing, those Yeti coolers, they the huge selection of different sizes depending on what your needs are. Now I know it's, it's something that's very popular, particularly in the winter when we've got long dark nights, if people wanting to try fly tying. So if you've got a, somebody in your life that wants to try fly tying, there's a great kit here from Venyards. This is the Venyards Premium Fly Tying Kit. Now to say this includes everything you need to get started would be an understatement. There's everything here you could possibly need to get going for the very first time. You've got a vise, you've got all your tools, threads, beads, feathers, furs, dubbings, hooks, and an instruction manual on how to, how to tie various different patterns. So literally hundreds of different flies you could tie with the materials inside of here. So there is no substitute at all for catching fish on flies you tie yourself, and it gives you a real buzz to know that the pattern that you used was something that you made with your own hands. So if you want to give fly tying a go for the very first time, or somebody you know wants to give it a go, without breaking the bank, this is a fantastic offering from Venues. And once you've got that, it's just a case of adding little and often bits and pieces here and there. Before you know it, you've got all the fly tying materials you could ever need to tie all the flies you ever wanted. Now, if you're, for instance, someone that's never fished, or you know somebody that wants to try it and hasn't got any kit, this is a really, really good offering from Snowby. It's called their classic fly fishing kit, and it comes in various different sizes. So depending on whether you want to fish small still waters all the way through to reservoir, even a bit of uh, bass off the coast, there's a rod reel range inside of this that's going to fit the bill. So this one's a complete kit, comes with a four piece rod, a reel and a line with your backing all pre-done for you and loaded and a leader as well. And inside of this range, there's also a one that's been specifically made for kids. It's seven foot long for a six weight line, so it's quite a short rod, but with a relatively heavy line to make life very easy for a youngster getting started. Really good value for money kits. So if you've got a, a friend or a family member that's looking to get started in fishing for the very first time, this is a really good offering from Snowby. So there's just a selection of a few things that would make perfect gifts this Christmas. If any of these haven't ticked your boxes and you're still looking for inspiration, then go onto our website and we've got pages and pages of different sele selections and suggestions for you of things that would be perfect for the angler in your life. And if none of those fit the bill and you're still stuck for an idea of what to get someone, there's always an e-voucher online or you can come into our stores and we can give you a physical gift voucher with a nice card that would make a perfect gift for someone to go out and pick their own Christmas gifts with the gift of your voucher. So I hope some of these will fit the bill I hope you have a great Christmas and best of luck with all your Christmas shopping.